as we're going around the exhibition hall here at the NCB FAA conference, uh, I'm standing here in front of Clear Now. So tell folks who you are and what is Clear Now. So Clear Now is a platform that was designed to organize all of the unstructured data that exists in a shipment. Uh, so if you think about a bill of lading, a commercial invoice, a packing list, the arrival notice, the ISF form, all of that data comes in different formats, unstructured. What Clear Now does is leverages artificial intelligence to organize all of that information, digitize it, structure it, and then leverage that data for a lot of cool functions. One of them is pre-populating a shipment, an entry form. Uh, the other is providing end-to-end -end visibility, real-time track trace into what's going on, including customs events and uh, terminal milestones. Uh, and the last component is the business intelligence and the analytics that can come from all this. So being able to see everything in one place from a trade compliance and a logistics standpoint is really the core uh, value proposition behind all of the data that we capture on the platform. So you're taking, I'll just say, and you know, I'm just a dumb country boy here. So it's like, I taking the equivalent of data chaos, putting it through a process and giving it some structure and organization. That's exactly right. That's a simple way to put it. All right. We take all the mess and we use AI to clean it up and make it so that everybody can see a clean form of it in one place. Well, now I'm gonna say something here and it sounds like this is an automated way of doing this, but when there are people that are dealing with stuff, you become a pooper scooper at the end of a parade. So it sounds like you're taking this scenario here and your system is able to organize all of that, put it into a structure and you're feeding the beast rather than cleaning it up after it. That's exactly right. Yeah, we do it from the email that originates with the shipment. And 90% of the industry still operates by email. Mm -hmm. Every shipment generates 30, 40 emails. So from that first email where that shipment exists, right? We're copied in, we take that information, create the shipment file, and then ingest all the corresponding emails, tie it to that original shipment, and then provide all the, the value propositions I mentioned. All right, and with this, so as things are, you create the, a, a file for the shipment as it's being yeah. moving through the process. Yeah. It sounds like then there's also like a digital archive of things. Would that be fair? That's fair, yeah. Everything gets stored and there's a record keeping function of the platform that's a value add for a lot of customers because all the documents are digitized, they're stored on the platform, on local databases for the period that's required from a U.S. compliance standpoint. So there is a smart record keeping function that's part of the platform as well. But yes, it's all archived. Wow, that is, I mean, that sounds phenomenal. So it, it, once the data is then structured, you have something that is workable, if you will. You can do something with it, like you said, populate some things. So then the next uh, step here is then, what is it doing as far as your workforce? Is it truly making them more productive or is it trying to replace their jobs kind of thing? What What's going on? No, so, I mean, it can, right? Uh, AI in general, there's always that argument, will it take someone's job? Uh, at the end of the day, what it does is it gives people back time, right? So um, our platform from a broker standpoint or a forwarder standpoint uh, allows one person to do the job of roughly five people with, mm -hmm. with the, the, the grunt work that happens usually from having to read an email, download a shipment, document, uh, upload it, type everything in, create a, a structure around it. All that takes a lot of time and it's all manual effort and it's not really value added work. Uh, the system replaces that and allows them to do uh, customer service work, reduce churn, uh, do more value added work around the compliance side of it, making sure that what gets filed with customs is accurate and that you're paying the right amounts, right? So um, you can take all the time that you don't spend doing the value added work and spend more time doing that as opposed to spending all the time doing the groundwork, if that makes sense. Well, and so it sounds like your system empowers the employees to really take care of their clients and makes it a much more meaningful job that way. That's exactly right. I mean, if you think about it, like uh, what was life like before a calculator? Uh, you had to manually do long division, right? Each time, now the calculator, you just plug it in and it gives you the answer. We're, we're basically giving everybody a calculator uh, for the supply chain space, right? That's that's basically, if you wanted to look at it in an analogy, analogy type of way, that would be the, the analogy I could think of. Well, outstanding. I appreciate it. Well, with that, folks, listen, again, uh, it, it's one of these things. Clearnow.ai is your, uh, your website. It's worth checking out. And all that to say is we're at Fort Lauderdale, the NCB FAA conference. And uh, keep watching us, sharing us, looking at it, and keep uh, watching LinkedIn for the updates. 
Yeah, thank you for, so much for uh, being with us today. Thank you. I appreciate it. Right. This, this is Andy Shiles with Simply Trade Podcast. Thank you.